As a warbird pilot, you become something of a part-time historian. You learn everything about the machine that you fly, including the people that flew it. That's how I learned about WASP, the Women Air Force Service Pilots. I fly the BT-13, one of many planes that those gals flew to. Their creation was one of the necessity. With all the male pilots away doing the fighting, the United States found itself short of qualified aviators for at-home non-combat roles. Jackie Cochran and Nancy Love lobbied that women could fill this gap, and in mid-1943, WASP was born. 25,000 women applied. 1,074 would make the grade. In their primary mission of ferry pilots, WASP excelled. Until they were disbanded in late 1944, WASP would deliver 80% of all military aircraft in the continental United States. They were qualified in almost every aircraft in the U.S. Army Air Force inventory, up to and including the B-29. They also flew cargo missions, provided flight instruction to other pilots, and towed targets for gunnery training. 38 WASP gave their lives in the line of duty. So what is it about WASP that I admire so much? Is it that they answered the call to duty when their country needed them the most? Could it be that they shattered so many gender-based barriers along the way? Or perhaps it's how they did it, with courage, dedication, and humility. You know, maybe it's all for me. With your help, I'll be flying the BT-13 to Sweetwater, Texas for the next WASP reunion. They'll give the gals an opportunity to reconnect with an old friend of theirs. And if they wish, a chance to ride her one once again. For old time's sake.